Maria. Welcome to our channel, The Work of God, where we find topics of high spirituality that lead us through the paths of holiness. Today we meditate on these teachings on the Immaculate Conception. The Virgin Mary is the Immaculate Conception of God. This means that she is the perfect work of the Supreme Creator, above all created things, visible and invisible. The Blessed Virgin Mary was established from before creation in the mind of God as the human person with whom God, His Spirit, would have His hypostatic union, hypostatic union, or the union of the Spirit of God, the Divine Person of the Son, the Eternal Word, with the human nature of Mary, in order to form in her immaculate womb the Son of God, who is true God and also true man, Son of God and Son of Mary. Jesus Christ as man unites God with man, and with His divine grace man with God. Therefore, he is called the way, the truth, and the life. God knew beforehand that all his creatures, both spiritual and physical, were subject to temptation because of their free will. In fact, many angels rebelled against God, and then the human creation failed him, failed him since the sin of Adam and Eve, the first man and the first woman. God, in His absolute purity, could not find any human being worthy to be the bearer of this unique event in the history of creation, the incarnation of the Son of God, our Lord Jesus Christ. For all were sinners and bore the stain of original sin. That is why, from the beginning, before creation, Mary was chosen and created in the mind of God as the Immaculate Conception, the mother of His only Son, Jesus Christ. When God in His creative words, in Genesis 1, verse 26, from His perfect image said, Let us make man in our image and likeness, God the Spirit declares His image as man, which will materialize in the conception of His Son Jesus, the second person of the Holy Trinity. And here let us pause to see the action of the three divine persons. God the Father is the divine will, God the Son is the creative word, and God the Holy Spirit is the love of the Father and the Son, the creative power that brings everything from spirit to matter. From the moment of the first sin in paradise, God brought the remedy for humanity through forgiveness and grace. God promised in Genesis 3, verse 15, that the woman would crush the head of the serpent, which is the root of sin because it causes temptation. The woman of whom God spoke is Mary, the Immaculate Virgin, conceived without sin, the only human creature born with, without the stain of original sin and preserved from sin from her by her dignity as Mother of God by the work and grace of God. This is why the angel calls her Mary, full of grace, that is full of God's favor for all humanity. This is why she is the mother of God, because Jesus is God. Mary is also the mother of all the children of God, who must be spiritually conceived in her spiritual womb in order to be called children of God those who will live eternally. The celebration of the Feast of the Immaculate Conception began with an encyclical of Pope Pius IX who defined the dogma of the Immaculate Conception in a fabulous Deus on December 8, 1854. The Catholic Church celebrates the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary on December the 8th and her birth nine months later on September the 8th. In one of the apparitions of Lourdes on March 25, 1858, at the request of the parish priest of Lourdes, 
A.B. Raymond Rowley, with John Bernadette, asked the lady, Who are you? And she replied, I am the Immaculate Conception. Jesus says in his word, John 3, verses 5 to 6, that we all have to be born again through water and the Spirit. In our spiritual birth at baptism, we receive Jesus as our way to the Heavenly Father and Mary as our Heavenly Mother. This is confirmed at the cross when Jesus says to the Apostle John, representing all the children of God, There is your mother. Mary, being the bearer of God's grace, is the refuge of sinners and the divine maternal assistance that we all receive as children of God. Without Mary, there could be no Jesus. And without Jesus, who is God, there could be no salvation, and we will still be in darkness. The Blessed Virgin Mary is the perfect way in our union with God. She supplies the bread of life for the body and blood of Christ, has its origin absolutely in Mary, without the intervention of another human being, as is the case in human procreation. We eat the body of Christ and drink the blood of Christ. All this comes from Mary Most Holy. Glory to God! Mary takes part in the divine creation, when, with her consent and by the work of the Holy Spirit, she conceives Jesus in her womb. Likewise, we can say that this happens when she conceives each one of us as children of God. And we end this little reflection with a prayer composed by Jesus himself for Mary, his most holy mother. You are like a choice incense whose fragrance ascended to the divinity and attracted it to your body. This same fragrance raised your body and soul to God, where you are now in body and soul. Blessed art thou, for the angels rejoice in thy beauty, and all who call upon thee with a sincere heart are set free by thy power. All demons tremble before your light, and dare not remain in your splendor, because they always want to be in darkness. If you like this video, please give us a like. Subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and do not forget to leave your valuable comments. How did you like this reflection? God bless you.